Hey everybody, from getting ready for Thanksgiving break to getting ready for finals, we have a lot going on here this week at the University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. Let's hop right to it. And your last chance to catch theater at UAFS perform the dream play Ghost Sonata is this Monday and Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. happening in the Breedlove Auditorium. Make sure to check out the remarkable unity of design and performance art in this bold take on Japanese no theater as audiences watch a supposed paradise unmask itself. This play is rated 16 and up. If you're planning to catch up on last minute assignments over the Thanksgiving break, make sure to keep in mind there will be a planned outage. This outage is happening Wednesday, November 27th from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Blackboard, Numalink, Simplicity, TouchNet, Examity, EAB Navigate, Google Apps, Gmail, Password Resets, and White Birch will all be temporarily down. We all know that holidays can get crazy, and sometimes the different hours make it even crazier. No need to worry, because even though UFS Dining has different hours, we're going to tell you all about them. Tuesday, November 26th, the food court in Starbucks will be closing at 2.30 p.m., and the lion's den will close at 1.30 p.m. But don't worry, because all locations will reopen with normal business hours on Monday, December 2nd. Payment plans for the spring 2020 term will be available starting December 2nd. This is happening through the Online Business Center. In order to stay enrolled in the spring term, students must have their balance paid in full, covered by financial aid, or have a payment plan in place by the payment deadline. A payment plan may be set up for the spring 2020 term to avoid being removed from any of the classes you are enrolled in. The spring 2020 term is rapidly approaching, and UAFS wants to ensure that proper technology is in place to help students successfully complete their courses. In order to accomplish this goal, though, the university needs to know of any software or hardware changes required in any student computer labs by Thursday, December 5th. The Angel Tree program provides new clothing and toys for children and families in need. Give a gift to remember this holiday season. This year's Angel Tree is located right next to the Campus Center fireplace. Please make sure to stop by to get an angel from the tree and to return your angel's gifts to the Student Life office by 5 p.m. December 2nd. If you haven't signed up for Numa Nation yet, now is the time. This helps keep you in the loop of everything sports here at the University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. Let's send it over to Rachel and check out some sports. Thanks, Logan. The UAFS men's and women's basketball team started off conference play with a record of 1-1. One and one. The women's basketball team fought hard in double overtime but fell to the Dust Devils with a score of 75-72. to 72. On Saturday, the Lady Lions pulled off a win. Marcella Lolly, Ashanti Eden, and Tamara Gully led the Lions offensively with 15, 14, and 10 points apiece. The volleyball team battled tough competition this week and unfortunately lost in the third round in five sets against their evenly matched opponent, Angelo State. The men's basketball team won their first conference game earlier in the week. Matthew Wilson was on fire Thursday night, leading the team with 34 points, followed by Brian Halems with 12 points. Junior Chris Rollins had nine total rebounds, four offensively, and five of them were defensively. If you are in town for the Thanksgiving break, come out and support your women's and men's basketball team Saturday, November 30th against East Central and Williams Baptist at 2 and 4 p.m. That's all for your sports recap. Enjoy your Thanksgiving break. Thanks, Rachel. All right, everybody, have a wonderful Thanksgiving break, and remember to keep up the studies because finals are right around the corner. Have a wonderful week, everybody.